Hello. Today we're going to show you how to properly install your performance accessory stair treads. For complete installation details, be sure to consult the product instructions. First, let's take a quick look at the tools you'll need. A circular saw, a table saw, or a miter saw with depth control, and a fresh fine tooth blade, a rubber mallet, hammer, caulking gun, finished nailer, polyurethane construction adhesive, an angle gauge, a tape measure, wood putty, caulk, and or clear silicone. For best results, make sure the stairs are clean and smooth. Starting at the top or bottom of the stairs, measure the width and height of one riser. Then cut the riser 1 8 inch short of the width and 1 8 inch short of the height to leave gaps for caulking later. Next, measure the tread to depth and length and cut 1 8 inch short of the depth and 1 8 inch short of the length. Now, repeat this process for the remaining risers and treads, measuring and cutting each tread and riser as you go. Once all the treads and risers are cut, you're ready to begin the installation process. Install the first riser using a polyurethane construction adhesive. Do not use water-based adhesive. Draw an S-shape with the adhesive along the back side of the riser and put it in place, remembering to leave a 1 16th inch expansion gap all the way around. Put one finish nail in each of the four corners, then two in the center, top, and bottom. Now, we're ready for the new stair tread. Set it in place first to ensure a proper fit. Once fitted, apply a thick bead of construction adhesive around the perimeter of the back of the tread, and then a zigzag pattern in the center. Place the stair tread, remembering to leave a 1 16th inch expansion gap all around. To secure, nail the tread within a quarter inch of the back edge only, so the next riser will hide the nail holes if the optional risers are not being installed, use matching wood putty. Repeat this process, moving up the staircase. When finished, clean the stairs and use caulk or silicone to fill in the expansion gaps. Stay off the stairs for 24 to 48 hours, allowing time for the adhesive to dry. If one or both sides of the stairs are exposed, you'll also need to apply return trim for a proper finish. The return is pre-mitered on one end, but if the walls are not square, you'll need to cut the proper angle. Once properly fitted, attach the return with a small amount of construction adhesive and three finish nails. Use matching putty to hide any nail holes. Once the adhesive is dry, congratulations! Your beautiful new stairs are ready to use for years to come.